and tell John to make the bitches back. That's <laughs> <laughs> all oh, we can do. That is tremendous. Right? <laughs> Steve, uh, would, what did you see when you put uh, JaVale and, and Sean into the game uh, in the first quarter there? Th those two along with later Matt and Nick Wadala seem to change the game. Yeah, well, Milwaukee's such a, a, an athletic, long team, and uh, their length really bothered us the first uh, five, six minutes, and uh, we needed to match that, that length, and so I put two really tall, long-armed guys in, and it kind of worked. But uh, I thought uh, both guys uh, were, were great, Andre as well. Um, but uh, Javel really gave us a good lift when he came in there. and. Um, Second quarter, we uh, well we closed the first quarter really well uh, to get the momentum, and the second quarter we made a, a great push. Our defense was really really active, and uh, that kind of turned the tide for us. <clears throat> Steve, with 38, when you guys closed the second quarter on that big run, and Matt hit a couple big threes there yeah. to kind of kickstart that. Of all the things you give him, he brings a little grit and a little bit of you know just feistiness to him. How big is it when you can get that kind of, that little bit of icing on the cake when you get yeah. that kind of Yeah, the three-point shooting is, uh, you know, Matt is a, that's a good shooter. He's not a great shooter, but he's a guy who you have to honor out there if you're uh, defending him. And, uh, but he doesn't have to make shots to be effective. He does everything else so well. He's such a good defender. He's so smart. He's already picked up our offense like that. Um, and uh, he guards multiple positions. He's uh, He's just uh, kind of a jack of all trades, and, and he keeps us going um, with our pace. You know, he, he pushes the ball. He can play the power forward spot, so that we can still kind of spread you out and play small and and and, uh, and defend. And so he's uh, been a tremendous addition. We're really lucky to have him. Uh, so Andre has been phenomenal for the yeah. this past year. <coughs> But uh, today, he actually plays uh, quite a long minutes, 30 minutes also. So do you see that uh, for the next few ones, that will, he will be continuous playing this uh, much minutes? Well, you know, we, we generally play him between 25 and 30 minutes. Um, and without Kevin, obviously, we're, we're playing him a little bit more than usual. Um, but he's been fantastic. I mean, he's... Just, he's been so active uh, at both ends. He's pushing the ball relentlessly in transition. And defensively, he's always great. Uh, always a high assist to turnover ratio. Uh, so we'll continue to, to count on Andre. And you know we don't want to push him too hard, but we'll, we'll continue to count on him and try to manage his minutes. You called pretty quick timeouts there in the first quarter. What was your message on those two uh, timeouts? Uh, it was mostly about uh, the defense and rebounding. You know, I think um, at one point it was like 12 to 1 on the, on the glass and they had a bunch of offensive boards. I thought we actually defended halfway decently to start the game, but they kept getting uh, one offensive rebound after another. So the first time out was about that. The second one was just just to remind them to settle down that um, we were going to be fine. It was a you know, long game and I think we were down 14 or something. but. Uh, I liked I, I liked the way we were playing. Actually, we just nothing was going our way, and uh, so that was my message: was just stay with it. Uh, it'll come back around. Coach, it looks like we're comfortable in the role you've given him now with this home stand. Have you seen that as well? And do you expect to kind of continue that rotation at least as long as Durant's out? Well, Ian has been uh, giving us a huge lift. Um, the last couple of weeks, um, and I think he's probably a little bit more important to us with Kevin out because of his shooting ability. So, you know, we need that extra shooter, and um, the way he's playing, yeah, we'll we'll keep putting him out there on the floor. Tomorrow, you guys look at it actually makes geographical sense. Um, is that is there a message you want to give the guys in terms of just mentally? You know, this is obviously a lot easier than what you just dealt with on the road. I'm actually going to show them a map. <laughs> show them how, how close it is from Oklahoma City to Dallas, so she, we shouldn't be intimidated at all by the geography, so that's good. But uh, now this is, uh, you know, we, we, we've kind of gotten into a nice groove here the last couple of games, and um, we're playing uh, two teams that have been playing at a really high level uh, on the road, so we got we got a couple tough games and it'll be a good challenge for us. Steve, you're a wildcat. Uh, <coughs> double was getting booed all night. Did you have any 
thing to say to Del Dove after the game? I just thought that it was uh, rude that just because people don't like St. Mary's, they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair. See, what's it like? What's it like playing every night against a team that comes in and obviously is going to try to give you their A game? Because this is for Milwaukee. This is kind of the highlight, of, one of their highlights. We're used to it. It's good for us. Yeah. Uh, we see everybody's best shot generally. Um, and you know, teams teams bring it. A lot of teams get off to great starts against us and really put us on our heels because they're they're fired up and they're ready to roll. And, and this is a good team. You know, Milwaukee has uh, has suffered some injuries and, and uh, some big injuries, but they're really tough. I mean, they're long and active and, and really good defensively. Uh, they got Middleton back for the shooting, and, and, uh, and we had a really tough time in Milwaukee a couple months ago. So we knew uh, what we were up against, and I was pretty happy with the way we responded. You mentioned that, you guys, but it looked like Steph tonight looked fresher than he had yeah. in a little bit. Yeah, thank God I rested him last week. <laughs> <laughs> Steph was great. He yeah. was great. Um, honestly, um, without too much sarcasm, without any sarcasm, getting through that stretch, uh, last week we knew looking at the schedule and I've told you guys this we knew that was going to be a tough stretch we didn't know Kevin was going to get hurt but the, it was the double whammy and I feel like we've pushed through and our guys look fresher and uh, you know hopefully uh, we can carry this momentum on the road okay what last you guys uh, routinely you know kind of get off to some slow starts to begin these games um, how can you guys improve on that moving forward you know, uh, especially in this road trip as well. Well, we got off to a great start against Orlando, um, and uh, tonight we didn't. But um, I, I don't, I don't think uh, I'm not worried about this being a pattern. I mean, the fact is, the last couple of weeks were tough on us. We weren't playing that well, but uh, I feel like we're playing better now, and I'm not worried about the starts. Great. Uh, don't forget to bear down. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Black play in here, but Carolyn.